What's going on everyone, it's Ted Carr here. Happy 420, hope you're inhaling that good clean air because air is what you really wanna be focusing on in life. Without air, you're dead. Without water, you can go a week or so. Without food, you can go over a month. Without air though, you're toast in a matter of minutes. Toast, dead. No one's gone more than 21 minutes ever before in the history of, of humans. But most humans can really only go for five, six, seven, eight minutes without air and then they're dead. So. Focus on the good clean air rather than focusing on the smoke. If you focus on smoke, if you focus on trying to quit cigarettes or weed or whatever you're trying to quit, if you focus on that, you're gonna get more of it. It's a paradox. If you focus on trying to stop something, it's gonna stay in your life. Whatever you resist persists. So instead of trying to destroy these old habits, start cultivating new ones. Start focusing on health and vitality. Start focusing on the good clean air. That's what you wanna be inhaling, right? You're gonna be inhaling something so you might as well focus on good, clean air. Ah, feels so good. The other day I went for a walk with Sarah. Yesterday I went for, yesterday I went for a big walk with Sarah. Yesterday we did a 12 hour audiobook walk. But the day before that, we did a two hour walk. And because we're so clean, our no nasals are so clean, our, our nose, our nasals, our nasal cavities are so clean, and our tongue is clean from eating raw food for so long, we can smell things so well. And so we're walking through the forest and we're inhaling these flowers and we're inhaling these leaves on trees and we're inhaling the bark of trees and everything just smelled so good. And we realized that not everyone can smell the way we smell because a lot of people are, their tongues are coated in crap and they're inhaling smoke a lot of the time so their just taste buds are completely perverted. But we were very, very grateful for how good everything smelled and we were just getting super high on inhaling flowers. I'll post a little clip right here of Sarah inhaling a flower. So as you can see, it was a very, very pleasurable experience getting to smell all these things. I used to smoke a lot of weed from age 16 to 19, I guess. So three solid years, not that long. I smoked it for three years, but I smoked it every single day. There wasn't a day that went by when I didn't smoke it. I tried to quit as well. I tried to just quit cold turkey, but I failed. I, uh, I succeeded eventually, but I failed initially hardcore. I didn't sleep for four nights. I was going to high school at the time. I was like, I'm not addicted, I'm not addicted, I'm not addicted. And then I tried to quit and then holy crap, the insomnia kicked in. I just couldn't sleep because I always smoked it right before I slept. So all of a sudden when I stopped smoking it, I couldn't sleep and that sucked. It was a very, very difficult thing for me to quit. Not as difficult as quitting cooked food, but harder than anything else I had experienced previous to trying to quit weed. Uh, so it's very, it was a very addictive thing for me. I don't think it's addictive for everyone, but it was very addictive for me. Just like cooked food. Cooked food is not addictive for everyone, but it's addictive for most people who try to quit. Uh, but a lot of people don't even want to try and quit, so they nev they'll never know. But for me, it was definitely addictive. And uh, the thing that got me through it was weaning off, actually. So I went from smoking it every day to then vaporizing it every day. And once I started vaporizing it every day, I just stopped smoking it. I couldn't even smoke it after I vaporized, because when you inhale vapor, it's just, there's no smoke, it's just vapor. So it's uh, a lot less harsh on the lungs. And when you try and go back to smoking after vaporizing, it's just so brutal. So I couldn't smoke once I started vaporizing every day. And then uh, on the vaporizer I had, I could change the dial down. So instead of having like level eight or nine, which is like a thick vapor, I could make it level seven or six. And the vapor was a lot thinner, more air-like. So I started inhaling the THC, the weed, at level six, level seven. And then I took it down another notch. I went from to level five and level four, then level three and level two. And at level three and level two, it's, the vapor is so thin that it looks just like air. It hardly looks like there's any, anything in the bag that fills up. But that was uh, how I did it. I just weaned off. And then eventually I was doing at level two and then level one. And level one is just basically pure air that tastes like THC. And that for me was almost like a placebo. Like I didn't think I was uh, inhaling much smoke, but I just got the taste of the weed, the THC. And that was enough to trigger my brain into thinking, hey, you're getting some THC. You're all good now. You can fall asleep. That's how I did it. I just weaned off. And... The reason I wanted to quit, I should say, what, what, in, what instigated this journey of me trying to quit weed was my focus on health. It was my focus on health. When you focus on something that you really want, you'll get it. And everything that's not conducive towards that goal, anything that's not helpful towards that goal is going to get discarded. So for me, focusing on health and vitality and good, clean nutrition and living the healthiest lifestyle possible, that focus alone was enough to 
help me annihilate my addictions of weed and then eventually cook food and things like that. That's how I did it really. I just held the focus on health and my cravings for weed went way down. It helped especially because I was kept weaning off the, the potency of the vaporizer as well. So that's how I quit weed. Now I do a lot of breath work. I like to do some Wim Hof style breath work where you inhale rapid in and out for 60 seconds. You actually focus on the deep inhale and you just let go. So like this. So powerfully inhale the air and then just let it out. You do that for about 60 seconds. And then after 60 seconds, you exhale everything. And you hold that for 45 seconds. And then after you hold that for 45 seconds, your body's completely empty. And then you inhale. And you hold that for 15 seconds. So you go rapid breathing, 60 seconds. Out hold for 45 seconds. And then in hold for 15 seconds. Doing breath work really changes your state of mind. It really changes my state of mind for the better. And it, it gets me thinking like, hey, I can change my state naturally just by inhaling air powerfully with this method. And there are a lot of people who are smoking weed right now to change the state of mind. People smoke weed so that they can be more relaxed or be more focused, whatever it is, or they smoke weed so they can fall asleep or they smoke weed so they can ease their pain or at least feel better, relieve depression. And those are, those are all reasons why I was doing it as well. But I found now that I don't need substance to change my state of mind. I can change my state of mind naturally with things like breath work. And I can change my state of mind naturally with things like fitness and meditation and doing this arm hold meditation that I like to do. So there are certain state changes that we can all do to change our state of mind, guaranteed for the better, every single time we do them. And we don't need substance in our life. We don't need an addiction. We don't need a drug to change the way we feel. Now there are a lot of people who are going to say weed is not a drug, it's a plant. True, it's a plant, but people treat it like a drug. There are a lot of things in life that are treated like drugs. Even food, you know, even cooked food. People treat it like a drug. It doesn't need to be treated like a drug. Cooked food can be treated sacredly and harmoniously. People can have a harmonious relationship with it. But a lot of people are abusing it. They're having it every single day for almost every single meal. And they're eating too much of it. And they're adding all sorts of condiments on it to, to really excite their uh, nervous system and excite their taste buds. But it's not necessary. Don't use it like a drug and take it every single day. I want to say that you can change your state of mind naturally. You don't need to be taking substances. And uh, I quit simply by weaning off and focusing on health. So I hope this video was helpful. Happy 420. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. Peace out. I'll see you this summer at the Canada Fruit Festival, August 10th to the 13th in British Columbia, right on the Okanagan Lake. Adios.